Tomorrow's inauguration, News 12's Antoinette Biorti is sitting down with a former member of Mount Vernon National Guard who was at the inauguration of President Dwight D. Eisenhower 68 years ago. A total of 25,000 National Guard troops will be actively securing the Capitol for the inauguration of President Joe Biden tomorrow. I, Dwight D. Eisenhower, do solemnly swear. But things looked a lot different 68 years ago at the inauguration of President Dwight D. Eisenhower, with crowds of people watching on and a huge parade. It was very exciting, and it was, uh, as, a, as a young boy at the time, um, you know, it was all new to me. First time I had been in Washington, D.C. Larry Jensen of Mohegan Lake was just 21 years old at the time. He was one of 120 members of the Mount Vernon National Guard selected by Eisenhower himself to march in the Inauguration Day Parade. And so we were representing New York and we were re representing the National Guard as, uh, as two. Was and, that a big um, deal back then? Was it a big deal? Yes, it was a very big deal. He remembers being very nervous so, that day, is, uh, especially because the president had been a military general and their group had been awarded for how sharp they looked when they marched. When you march past the president, um, they would they called eyes right. And we all had to turn to the right and look at him as we marched past him. We didn't want to make a mistake. None of us wanted to make a mistake and be the one that goofed up. Jensen says he has a lot of fond memories from that day, but he knows that things have changed since then. And now with COVID and safety concerns, Inauguration Day will look and feel a lot different. He says he truly believes things will be OK during tomorrow's inauguration. And he'll be watching the coverage on TV as he thinks back on all the great memories from his experience so many years ago. Antoinette Biorti, News 12. Jensen says after marching in the parade, he was drafted and stationed in Korea for 18 months. So we thank him for his service.